Bugs here, Surfboard Line 2012 USO round three, no loss, no gain here with the Simpo. How are you, Simpo? Good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Sweet. No. Yeah. You know, obviously the circus is in town. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, circus yeah, it's crazy. It's we we come to expect it. You know, you you it's a great event they put on, so yeah, I agree. I'm ready. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Too. I'm enjoying it. So I'm here, obviously, at the USO to talk about board talk. And here, two to three foot, grobbly HB. What is Simpo riding? Talk to us about your equipment. I'm on a 510, 19 and a half by a little under like two and a half. So my, it's pretty much just a squished, squished model of kind of what I ride on a normal basis. But just a little more foam, a little more whiff kind of to uh, just keep that speed up sometimes. Get, you know, a Huntington gets a little bit flatter through the, the connection, and you want to be able to get that whole package of like keep the speed, and that's what the judges look for, and, and it feels better too. <laughs> yes, I agree. Because um, you're probably wearing a 170 ish. Yeah, 175. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, shaper of choice? Uh, this is a Tim Stamps. Um, I'm either between him and Mayhem. Mayhem's shaped me great boards all year, so um, I just, you know, it's a little bit trickier for here. You really, r equipment really is crucial. And uh, I just, you know, I went through a lot of boards trying to figure out which one feels the best, and this was kind of the one I picked, so. It's in, and I've noticed a lot of guys going with the Freddy Rebel. It's kind of going old school, almost back to simplicity. Yeah. Like you said, a little more foam, thickness, yeah. flatter rocker. Um, this is a squash tail as well, it looks like you're riding, yeah, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah, it's a bit yeah. more blocky, it's a bit more width, so. I think, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's like guys realize like it's a little bit easier. It takes a lot off the load of like having to work, work your board as hard on a, on an average wave. So um, it's nicer when it kind of is simple and it's you still have speed and the boards are still created to do high performance maneuvers. So it works both ways. Sweet fin system uh, choice. Uh, yeah, I've been rocking future. I'll ride anywhere from like you know the AM ones and kind of good waves to or AM ones and twos. Then the Timmy Patterson lost template kind of in beach breaks, and uh, that's kind of been my fins of choice. Sweet. Now, with the swell increasing and forecast for tomorrow, a foot or maybe two bigger, are you going to stick with this, or are you going to do a little step-up version of that? I'll probably be on, like, my go-to kind of normal or board, 6-0-ish, and uh, 18, 5 8 2 and 3 8 kind of just a uh, little, more, little more tighter turns. Uh, Stuff like that. I mean, you're looking for a little bit bigger wave, head high range, so kind of have more speed, which you don't have to really create as much speed. So it kind of, you just want your board to do most of the work. Exactly. Well, good job, Simpo. Wish you luck and uh, maybe another third title at the USO. Yeah, it's going to be tough. There's a lot of great kids, so, and Slater. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Kelly's down playing it, eyes injured. He's kind of <laughs> over it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good way to do it. Less, pr less pressure. <laughs> exactly. Listen, thank you. Woo. Yeah, sweet guys.